Hello and welcome to PMCLounge.com. Today we are talking about histogram and histograms of course are one of the seven basic quality tools. Now before we get started let me remind you first link in the description will take you to a related article on histogram over at our official website PMCLounge.com. So if you are into reading articles rather than watching videos first link in the description is for you. Second link in the description will take you to an entire playlist on all the seven basic quality tools. So very, very important. Check out the second link as well, the entire playlist. And third link is equally important because it is a playlist of every single video that we have done on quality management knowledge area. So three links, very, very important. Check them out. And for now, let's get started with histogram. Not a bar chart. Now that's the first thing that you should know about histograms, especially if you are a PMP aspirant because PMP aspirants in the world of PMP, a bar chart is also known as a Gantt chart. These two terms can be synonymously used and Gantt charts, as you're already aware, we have discussed Gantt charts earlier in um, a previous video Gantt charts are basically used to represent project schedules. So a Gantt chart and a bar chart are actually the same thing as far as the world of PMP is concerned. So a histogram is definitely not a bar chart. Although you may find certain texts related to PMP where histogram is referred to as vertical bar chart. So they've just added the term the word vertical in front of a bar chart to differentiate it from Gantt charts. But for the rest of the world, of course, histogram is basically a bar chart and you'll get it cleared when we look into an example of histogram as well. So histogram basically represents data by breaking it down into different categories and helping you make informed decisions. So that is the USP of a histogram. It breaks down the data into several different categories. So before we look into an example of a histogram, let me remind you pmclounge.com slash resources. Head over to this link if you are looking for PMP exam preparation book recommendations and resources recommendations. This is the link where we have listed our favorite resources. So don't forget to check that out. Now, this is an example of a histogram. As you can see, this bar chart or a histogram basically represents defects and you have five categories of defects, catastrophic, critical, high, medium and low. So instead of saying that you have 19 defects, you have categorized them in terms of their impact, whether the impact is catastrophic, critical, high, medium or low. Now let's talk about this example a bit more. So the histogram represents the number of open defects after the final round of testing. So the final round of testing is also done and we had 19 defects as we have seen in the previous slide. Now, as you more, can most probably guess, we have got more work to do before this code can go live. You cannot have a code go live when there are 19 defects that are open. So, but since histogram has helped segregating the defects by impact, you know which defects are catastrophic and critical. And there were four of them, one catastrophic and three critical. So those four definitely require your immediate attention. And before we close the video, yes, histogram does look like a Pareto chart. We have talked about Pareto chart in a separate video. Second link in the description that will lead you to the entire playlist of seven quality tools, the seven QC, you will find Pareto chart there as well. So Pareto chart has a trend line. Histogram does not have a trend line. So that's all that we had in this quick video on histogram. Hope you enjoyed it. Do hit the like button if you learned about histogram. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to stay notified whenever we upload new content. And don't forget to head over to our official website, pmclounge.com, your number one free PMP resource. Thank you.